In today's video, Michelle Watterson reacts following controversial loss at UFC 287. Drake wins $2.7 million from bet on Adesanya vs. Pereira fight. We get footage of Izzy celebrating his win with Usman, Ortiz, and Liddell. Israel Adesanya sends a warning out to the middleweight division. Leon Edwards reacts to Jorge Masvidal's retirement. Kobe Covington goes off on Masvidal over UFC 287 loss. Bilal Muhammad gets swarmed by fans after UFC 287. And an emotional Kelvin Gastelum reacts to his win over Chris Curtis. Michelle Watterson suffered a controversial split decision loss to Luana Pinheiro in the UFC 287 late prelims. The loss also made it 1 in 5 in her last 6 outings for Watterson, who recently expressed interest in a move to pro wrestling. Taking to social media shortly after the event, Watterson shared her frustration with the controversial decision loss. Um, I was really excited after that fight was over. I thought I pushed the pace. Um, I thought I landed some really creative shots um, from top to bottom. I thought I was just a more well-rounded well fighter that wanted it more. Um, but, you know, all is said and done and the results are in and uh, there's nothing I can do to change those results. Um, and so, I just wanted to thank you guys for all the love and support. And if there's anything that I can can take away from this is that um, I'm not going to sit up here and say that uh, it doesn't hurt because it does. And it should hurt if you put so much time, sweat equity, blood, sacrifice into something that you want so badly and you don't get the results. And for me, um, I'm a fighter and I'm gonna keep pushing until I get those results. Uh, and I appreciate that all of you are in my corner with me and we're gonna get there. So love you and thank you guys all for the support. <laughs> Bye. Rapper Drake won $2.7 million after Israel Adesanya knocked out Alex Pereira at UFC 287 to reclaim the middleweight title. Drake lost $1.6 million after backing Adesanya to win in the first fight, but he made amends for the rapper in his rematch with Pereira. The rapper placed a $500,000 bet on Adesanya to win, which returned $885,000, and a $400,000 bet for him to win by knockout, which returned a massive $1.8 million. Drake could have made close to $6 million if Jorge Masvidal got the KO too, but unfortunately for the rapper, he lost 500k by backing Gamebred at UFC 287. Israel Adesanya celebrates his big UFC title victory at Miami nightclub with Kamaru Usman, Tito Ortiz, Michael Venom Page, and Chuck Liddell. Adesanya sends a warning to the middleweight division following his huge win at UFC 287. Taking to Twitter, Izzy wrote, I actually just got back from church and I haven't slept a wink. My body still hasn't processed the last 24 hours. I'm having fun right now, but the rest of you are f***ed. You actually have zero idea. Much of the UFC 287 storyline was about Jorge Masvidal wanting to leapfrog Colby Covington into a title shot against Leon Edwards if he were to best Gilbert Burns this weekend. However, Masvidal lost by unanimous decision and then announced his retirement. Leon wasn't happy with Masvidal's poor performance and proceeded to slam him over social media. He wrote, F 
Bum, Jorge fumbled the bag once again. None of them really deserve it. Who should I fight next? Hashtag King Leon. After Jorge Masvidal announced his retirement at UFC 287, many fighters paid due respect to Masvidal's legendary career. However, his arch rival Kobe Covington is not one of them. In an interview with Submission Radio, Covington reacted to Masvidal's retirement, claiming he was the one to retire him at UFC 272 last March. He said, That's interesting. I haven't been paying attention to any of the news. I don't really check social media to see what's going on in the world. I couldn't care less. I got bigger and better things to do, but if I want to get my honest take, Masvidal was retired after I beat him. He's a broken man, he just didn't want to live the rest of his life knowing that he retired off of getting his ass beat by me. So of course, he's going to come and lose to somebody else in the division because he didn't want that being hung over his head that I retired him. The guy's a felon, he's a criminal, he's a coward, he's not a real man. If he was a real man, he wouldn't have done what he did to me. So, I got nothing else to say to him. The only person I care about is Mama Mouth Leon Edwards Scissorhands. Bala Muhammad gets swarmed by fans after UFC 287. Thousand dollars shirt, sign that shit. Fuck that. <laughs> All right. Are you serious? All right, whatever. Wait, what is it? I'll take the shirt. It's a thousand dollar shirt. Supreme. This is a this is a million dollar signature. We're good. Bala, tap in. <laughs> Hey man. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you guys, man. It's dark. Thank you, brother. Why is there no After dropping five of his past six fights prior to UFC 287, Kelvin Gastelum earned a unanimous victory over Chris Curtis in what many viewed as a crossroads fight in his career. Speaking to TSN's Aaron Bronstetter, an emotional Gastelum shared his feelings on the win and said he never stopped believing in himself. Here are the top three funniest memes we found on the internet today. Third place was found over Reddit and was posted by a user named UFC McMemes. Second place was found over Facebook and was posted by a user named UFC Kink. And our top pick of the day was found over Reddit and was posted by a user named Cody Horseman. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.